Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will create a notes app using MVVM and Room Database. I have already created a notes app, but that was using SQLite database, which was very basic. But this time, we will create an advanced version of notes app using Room Database and MVVM. Also, previously, I have created a news app using Retrofit. Even there, I have used MVVM and Room Database. So if you want, you can watch it by clicking on the I button. Not just that, but I have also explained MVVM and Room Database in a detailed video. So you can go through it for revision, link in the description box. Now, first, let's see a quick demo of our notes app. Here it is. This is how it looks. I have kept the designing very minimal as always. Then we have five major features like starting from adding a new note then displaying it stagger layout then updating the note then you can also delete the note and lastly you can search the note and that's it I know it sounds simple and it is very simple, but there is a lot of code to write. Hence, I have divided the code in four videos. In this video, we will do all the prerequisites and XML design. Then in part two, we will cover room database. Then in part three, we will cover adapter and view model. And then in last part four, we will cover all the fragments and final output. And that's it. Now, before starting with all the prerequisites, let me quickly tell you the technical side of it. And also, it will be great if you guys are using the latest version of Android Studio 2023.1.1. So first, there will be a blank screen if no nodes are available. But if there are nodes available, then it will display in a recycler view using staggered layout. For that, we will require an adapter, right? Then nodes will be saved in the room database whose three main components are Entity, DAO, and Database, correct? Then they all will be handled under Repository. Then we have View Model for the communication. And lastly, we will have three fragments, Add Node Fragment, where we will add the node, then Edit Node Fragment, where we will edit the node, and Home Fragment, where we will display the nodes. Simple, right? Also, Delete feature will be handled in Edit Node Fragment, and search feature will be handled in home fragment. Got it? Now let's create it. Choose empty views activity. Name it as the notes app. And done. Now let's start with all the prerequisite. Also, as I always say, as a developer, your first priority should be logic rather than designing. Hence, to save your time, I am providing source code only for the prerequisites and XML layout. So you can simply copy paste it. But there are few important parts that need explanation. So don't directly jump on the source code. Instead, watch this video first and then go to the source code. Okay. Now first, let's start with Gradle. As we'll be using room database and view models, so obviously we will require its dependencies, right? And also, we'll be using navigation component. So, we will require dependency for that as well. So, first, go to build Gradle project. Here, simply copy paste the dependencies and plugins from here to here and then. This is for navigation and this is for KSP, Kotlin Symbol Processing. It's a better alternative for KAPT plugin. Do not click on sync now. Then go to Gradle module. Here, don't blindly copy paste it because there are chances of package name being different. Hence, only copy paste what is necessary. Like we will require KSCP, parcelize and save arguments. Then scroll down here. Add data binding as true. Done. Then copy paste all the dependencies as it is. And done. 
See, we have dependency for room, then coroutines, then navigation, and then view model. Now you can click on sync now. And done. Close all the tabs. Next, go to Android Manifest.xml. Here we need to mention metadata for room library. So simply copy paste it. And that's it. Now go to colors.xml. Here I will add two prominent color as pink and red. Pink hex value is F88379 and red hex value is C13B34. There is a website with all the color hex code from which you can decide your app color. Link in the description box. Then go to strings.xml. Here simply change the string as notes or whatever your app name will be. Then go to themes.xml. Here write parent as dark action bar. Action bar will play an important role in our app because features like saving the node, deleting the node and even the search is present on the action bar. Then simply copy paste the remaining code. And done. Then close all the tabs. Now come to drawable folder. Here we will require four icons. Delete, search, add and done icon. So let me quickly add them. And done. Then I have created a background image which will be displayed when node notes will be available. Means in empty notes app. So I'll add that as well. Last thing in drawable is to create a border for edit text as well as for notes. So create a drawable resource file. And name it as pink border. Then give it a shape as rectangle. Then copy paste the code and that's it. Next thing is to create menus, specifically three menus. The first one is for search, second one is to save a note and third one is to delete a note. As they are menus, so they will be present on the action bar in three different fragments. Home, add note and edit note fragment. So first create a menu directory. Then inside it, create a home menu. And here paste the code. It's a search menu with search icon in home fragment action bar. Then create another menu as menu add note. And inside it, create an item with ID as save menu, title as save and show as action as always. There will be no icon, only save text on the action bar of add note fragment. Then next create another menu as menu edit note. Paste the code. Here an item with delete icon present on the action bar of edit note fragment and done. Next we need to create all the packages and fragments so that we can design it. So first package is adapter where recycler adapter will be present. Then create another package as database where DAO and database will be present. Next create another package as model where entity will be present. Then create another package as repository where obviously notes repository will be present. Then another package is view model, which will consist of view model and view model factory. And in the end, main activity. Then as I have to design layout, so for that I need three fragments, 
So create fragment package. And let me quickly create all the three fragments. And done. See, here we have add not fragment, edit not fragment and home fragment. And that's it. Our packages and fragments are ready. Now it's time to design them. So go to layout. Here we have activity main, fragment add node, fragment edit node and fragment home. Also, we will require one more layout that is note layout for recycler view item. So let me quickly create a layout resource file. And done. Now first, let's design fragment home. This is where nodes will be displayed and also a floating action button to add a node. So let me quickly copy paste it. And done. I'm not going to explain in detail, just the important parts. As we'll be using data binding, so opening will always be with layout. Then important things are IDs. This is fab to add a node whose ID is add node fab with add icon. Then a recycler view to display nodes whose ID is home recycler view. And then an image view whose ID is empty nodes image. And it will display when there will be no nodes. Also, I have kept both of their visibility and scorn because this will be handled in logic only. Next, go to fragment add node. Here, same layout for data binding. Then a text view as heading. Also, make sure to add Poppins font, otherwise you will face error. Then two edit tags. One is for node title whose ID is add node title. And second one is for node description whose ID is add node description. And that's it. Next, go to fragment edit node. Here, everything is similar to add node layout except IDs and fab. This is edit node title, then edit node description, and a fab button whose ID is edit node fab, which will save the edited node with icon. And that's it. Next, go to Note Layout. Here again a layout and inside it, I have given a pink border to Linear Layout. Then a text view whose ID is Note Title for displaying the title of the note. And another text view whose ID is Note Description for displaying description of the note. And thing to be noted here is I have kept the maximum height of text view as 170 dp. You can customize as per your requirement. And also make sure card view height is wrap content. It's a very common mistake, hence it was necessary to remind. And that's it. Next, go to activity main. Here, all the three fragments will be displaying using fragment container view. And also, this is a name host fragment as well, which will help us to navigate from one fragment to another fragment. And for that, we will require name graph. So I have already mentioned it here. And now let's create it. First, create a navigation directory. And inside it, a nav graph file. And done. Now here we have our host as activity main. That is our fragment container view, right? Then we will add new destinations, means all the fragment. So we have home fragment, add node fragment, and edit node fragment. And done. Now, listen to me carefully. The flow or the navigation goes like, when the user will click on add fab, it will navigate to add node fragment, right? So create a path for it. Then, when the user will click on the node in home fragment, it will navigate to edit node fragment, right? So again, create a path for it. And then, now another flow goes like when the user will click on the save in add node fragment, it will save the node in the database and instantly navigate the user to home fragment. So create a path for it. 
Then similarly, when the user will click on edit fab in edit node fragment, it will save the edited node in the database and instantly navigate the user to home fragment. So create a path for it too and then now few things to keep in mind make sure to keep home fragment as a start destination then come to code here see home fragment has two actions add node fragment has one action and edit node also has one action to be performed then here we need to attach data through argument tag which will require database so that we will cover in the next video and that's it all our prerequisites are done and now from the next video the real logic begins so stay tuned for that okay also for more updates you can follow us on instagram or join a telegram group link in the description box so yeah that is it for the video if you are new to this channel then please consider subscribing to my channel and i'll see you in the next video